Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make homemade fermented water keeper soda. So I showed you in some other videos how to make milk kefir and some people have dairy allergies, sensitivities to casein or lactose and today the fermented thing that I'm going to show you is not dairy based it's actually a water based so it works a lot of the same ways in that the grains that ferment the liquid feed on the sugar water in this case and in the other case milk if you're brand new to fermenting you may be wondering why you would even want to do this homemade fermented water kefir soda has beneficial bacteria in it that are really good to repair and heal the gut lining and so it's kind of like the same benefits as taking a probiotic only making them yourself so you're going to be introducing beneficial bacteria to your gut, which is awesome. Some frequently asked questions is how is this any different than kombucha? Well, this is fermented sugar water, whereas kombucha is based on tea, either like green tea or black tea, but a sweet tea, it's fermented that way. And it's also a different set of cultures. So this is made with water kefir grains. Now you can't use milk kefir grains. They have to be specifically water kefir grains. Whereas kombucha is made with a SCOBY. So it's a different thing entirely, but both fermented beverages. So some tools that you're gonna need for this is a fine mesh strainer. I got this on Amazon, I can link it below. A glass bowl, and then some Grolsch flip top style bottles. Now this is for the second fermentation, it is optional but you're gonna see at the end of this video whenever I show you how bubbly and delicious this gets because of these bottles, you're probably gonna wanna use this. To begin, I'm going to show you how to strain the grains off of some liquid that's been fermenting. So this is sitting in a glass jar. As you can see, there are some grains at the bottom and then there's this liquid. Now I started this 48 hours ago. Fermenting a lot of times, which I talked about this in my sauerkraut video, in my sourdough video, in my milk kefir video, depends on the environment of the home. So right now it's April, but it's really chilly. And so 48 hours is good. But in the summer when my house is almost 80 degrees, I find that 12 hours is kind of all that this needs to ferment properly. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain off and get these grains. Then I'm gonna show you how to get them fermenting in this sugar water again. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the second ferment. So if that all sounds confusing, just follow along. It's actually very, very easy. And once you get it into your regular routine, it's a super simple process. I'm gonna start by putting my fine mesh strainer here over a bowl, and I'm just going to pour off this liquid. Now, what I have left here is fermented water kefir. Those grains that I just showed you, they were feeding on sugar water and consuming the sweetness. And so what's left is a sour liquid that has tons of beneficial bacteria. Now you could go ahead and just drink it just like this, but I like to do a second fermentation to create carbonation and make something that's even more delicious and full of even more bacteria. Now I'm gonna bring a little bit of filtered water to a light simmer or boil and then I'm going to add to it a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now you need about a quarter cup per quart of water that you are fermenting. I'm gonna have to allow it to cool because if I would put these delicate grains that are teeming with live bacteria they would die in the boiling water. So I have to actually allow the sugar water to cool before adding the grains. After the grains and sugar water sit for about two days, depending on the temperature in your house, it might be a lot less if it's summer. The next step is the second fermentation. Now, this can go a whole bunch of different ways. You can make it any variety of flavor that you want. Today, we're gonna use grape juice. And I'm just going to put a funnel here in this style of bottle. I will link the kind that I have below. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of juice, in this case, grape juice, for this size bottle. And then I'm just going to fill it the rest of the way with the already fermented water kefir. So this is the second fermentation. This has already been fermented. It's already sat for two days with the grains. And I'm gonna fill it up the rest of the way, leaving about an inch at the top of headspace. Just gonna cap it like this. 
and set it back to allow it to ferment for anywhere from 12 hours to 48 hours, depending on how hot it is in your house. Now here's a caution for you. I have had bottles explode before for leaving them too long. So you definitely want to check on your bottles so that you don't have any safety hazards. Well, there you have it. That is how you make fermented water kefir soda. I hope you can see that it really isn't too complicated. It's just fermenting some sugar water, straining that off, and then putting it in a bottle with some juice. That's really all there is to it. Stop by the blog because I'm gonna have a free ebook with five different water kefir recipes. So some fun, fruity recipes for this summer that you can enjoy if you like that carbonated taste of soda, but obviously would rather heal your gut rather than destroy it with sugary beverages, but instead with gut healthy probiotic drinks. So they are just so good if you put them in the refrigerator, pop them out nice and cold and all those bubbles, it's just so good in the summer. So I'm gonna have that free ebook, grab it at the link below so that you can enjoy homemade water keeper this summer. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.